Hello everyone and welcome to Lone Water Prologue. As I understand it, this is potentially the start of a new series that might get released on Game Jolt if this does well. So I'm eager to give this a try, actually. Uh, I think the general premise of this is that I am on a flooded world. I'm not exactly sure if it's Earth or not, but it's just recently been flooded and it's killed everyone but me off. So I think our only real objective in this game is to find out what went wrong, basically. Why everyone's dead? Why has this world just flooded? I don't know if it's a global warming thing or what, but uh, yeah. This game has been described to me as having light horror elements, so I don't know if I'd call it an indie horror game, but I guess we'll find out as we play, so hope you enjoy it. Here we go. And by the way, this first episode, this prologue, is free, so if you want to try this out yourselves, follow the link down below in the description, alright? Okay, so, uh, yeah, post-flood, I see. <laughs> Sunken skyscrapers and all. Now let's see. Uh, what's that? Right, so I um, yeah, I can sprint. I can jump. I don't think I can crouch or anything. The controls are very limited. It's very basic. I don't think I'll be jumping over this thing, whatever it is. Okay, we didn't have enough time. It's all flooded. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> okay, that that wasn't what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, but I guess damage or something. What's this? A lever, right? Ooh. What was that? Sounded like it was coming out of this cinder block wall. Well, unfortunately, I don't think it's a crane that's going to pull these out of the way so we can get to the uh, to the next one. These are doors, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't think I'll be getting through there. Something happened though, right? Is it around here? Oh, it opened this door, I think. Okay, and yeah, we've got another one of these spiky things. This is weird. Uh, so many died. It's all lost. Our fault. Alright. So, is that some sort of like memory or, or message that I'm getting when I pick those up? Okay. Is this a platformer? It looks like it might be. Can we not swim? I'd hope we can swim in a flooded world. Blimey. Wait, how is that? Oh, I guess maybe the, the first few floors are disintegrating or something. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's assume that the water is lava or something. Let's just keep to the platforms. Oh, I see. That's how we go around, isn't it? Yep. Uh, can that barrel hold all my weight? Apparently, yes. <laughs> okay. Weird. I always wondered how I would feel being the last human alive. Yeah, weird. It feels... it feels weird. Right, what do I have to do with this? Which button do I press? Which knob do I turn? That one, I guess? Oh. Hang on. Ah, right, okay, so that opens that door, it seems. So, we... Ah, no shortcut back, unfortunately. I think we'll be going... Um, I think we'll be using the platforms again. Or do we have to? Uh, let's just try swimming. Or drowning, I guess, yeah. I don't think we can swim. Uh, we can certainly sink, though. Well, maybe we can. I don't know. No matter what I do to end this, I always come back. Did the game see that as, like, a suicide attempt or something? Where are we? I guess in one of the nearby skyscrapers. Does the elevator still work? Not as I intended to use it, but okay. <laughs> uh, oh, actually, this is pretty good. Yeah, I guess that was kind of a shortcut, because this is where I wanted to be. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and there's another one over there. This is really odd. Very, um, very surreal so far. Right, let's, let's go have a look at what this wants to tell me. Ah, oh, damn it, locked in. Far exit? I don't think so. So weird. Humans are a plague on the earth. Okay, make sure you don't cut yourself on that edge. Ah, fair enough. I know what you're getting at. I know what you're getting at. That's fine. Um, okay. Are we trapped here? 
Can we like... I don't think we're getting out the window or anything. Uh, got some switches down here. That I don't think I can use. Something over here? Uh, no idea. Ah, hang on, what's this? Uh, this is... here we go. This is really important. Please check the pressure levels at least twice a day. In case of abnormal safety levels, please call management immediately. Uh, Hiro Nagashi. Okay. Are these the pressure levels? They all look to be pretty okay? They're all pretty low? Or maybe that's bad. Maybe they need to be high. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Lockers? Sure. Some of them with um, 2D padlocks, so I guess we're not going in there. Hang on, we've got a couple of things around here. Right. That's for the door. Okay, and it looks like we have another one of these notices. Uh, we really care about your health. In any case of disease, stress, and other mental illness, please call management. Our team will dispatch a facility doctor right away. Once again, Hiro Nagashi. Thank you. Alrighty then. Did that open the door? I figure so. Yeah, okay. Is that another one? Right, so I think we're just sort of finding memories and clues that will help us piece this all together. Uh, hero again. I'll write this down before the worst happens. I have serious suspicions that the new guy is sabotaging our machines. What the hell he... What the hell does he want with that? This will only cause an ecological apocalypse. <laughs> I hope I'm wrong. I called the management last week and left a message. <laughs> no, one <rec> no one returned my call so far. <laughs> I assume we're not taking that literally, because if we are, and this new guy could sabotage the machines and cause an ecological apocalypse, I think I'd do more than just leave a message with management. I'd at least leave two. You know, maybe get off my ass and actually go find the buggers. Right, uh, anything else back here? I don't think so, just this lever. <laughs> Where'd that static filter come from? <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah. This must be the light horror element. What's that? Oh, it's another one of these things. Another, like, memory? Another message? All my loved ones drowned in this ocean of tears. Our fault. Whoever's leaving these behind has got such a, a bleak outlook. Can't blame him, I suppose. Are we moving? Does this hallway actually have an end? I don't think it does. I think I've been repeating the same bit again and again. I have! What the fuck? Uh, uh, okay. Can we, like, move this again? Oh, hang on. Oh, we actually can! Ah, oh, we don't close the door? Did this change? No, I don't think so. Alright. I don't particularly want to go back into the darkness, really. We don't have, like, a flashlight or anything like that. We don't have much of anything. Oh, come on. Full sprint. Oh, come on. <laughs> How did that work? This, this seems so unbelievably surreal. It's like I'm in a dream. In a nightmare, I guess. There's another heavy-duty door. I guess I'll never be able to open any of these without... A lever? Or without walking on a pressure plate or something? I don't know. Where are we gonna go? Uh, green's usually good, isn't it? Let's try green. Let's try this door. Another strange message? The water will wash our sins. Okay. Couple of doors, lots of switches. No levers though, I don't think. Is it the new guy that's leaving behind these messages, these these spiky things? Maybe he was intentionally sabotaging the machines. But <laughs> I don't know. Mankind should not play God. Let's see what Hero has to say. I hope this letter falls into the right hands. I'm worried that the management has given so much freedom to the new guy they even gave to him the key of our storage. Valuable equipment and scientific research are there. 
I'm so confused right now. Did this one guy cause all this devastation by sabotaging some machinery? Why give him this responsibility? Why does it take just one fuck up to ruin the entire planet? What the fuck? <laughs> and you know what? If that was the case, don't give that responsibility to the new guy. Give it to someone else. What we got? Lab 09A. Okay. A very heavy duty door. So we probably need a very heavy duty lever. Oh Christ. Really? Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, okay. What's up here to start with? Anything? Um, what's that? Oh, we can actually use it. Oh, I, whoops. Maybe, yeah, that would probably be how I'd sort of weigh myself down. <laughs> or not. I don't think that was the way you meant to do it, but fuck it. Why not? It was efficient. Probably shouldn't have pressed that. I guess I pushed the wrong button. Maybe I should have gone with the uh, the green one or something. <laughs> I should have tried to put something there. It'd have gone like splat on the ceiling. Okay, so that door closed, and that door remains closed as well. What the hell? Uh, hang on. There's another one of these, right? If that goes there. Maybe this isn't just to get up there. Maybe this is for the fan? Can I get up there? No? Oh, I see. Uh, there wasn't a lever or anything, was there? I, I didn't miss one. Maybe on the right wall? Didn't really... Have <laughs> what the fuck was that? I thought that was like, I'm dead, game over. I I don't understand this game. I don't. This is just too too odd. It's too weird. Well, the doors aren't locked? What? That was a good thing? Right, I'm out of here, I think. <laughs> yeah. That door remains closed, okay. Uh... Well, I mean, that door did open, so maybe one of these doors has opened as well? Yeah, right, okay, okay. <laughs> this is just... Uh, this is just unreal. I'm dreaming. I must be dreaming. Or there's, like, a nebula just outside the planet. I don't know. How's this working? I'm, like, paddling in water and that. Is this some sort of infinity pool? I no, no, there is water there, I think, actually. It's just hard to see. What does this do? I assume that was the other door. All those buttons, and all it does is open damn doors. And flash red lights at me occasionally. That was weird. I, uh... I think this game's kind of effective in a way, though, because I'm on edge. I just... It's just... Hard to comprehend. And that's not how water works. Oh, wait. No, it is. It is. Ah, shit. <laughs> okay. I, I, I don't know. I really don't know. But yeah, so far it's been more or less incomprehensible. I'm wondering, actually, if I am this new guy. Maybe I caused this devastation. Maybe I was messing with the machinery. What's this? There's something up ahead. I can only see it in the reflection, though. What the hell? No lever? Shit. Oh. Oh, it's just not one of these things. Just a huge one. Pirouetting on the water. Uh, time to wash your soul and rot your flesh. Okay, don't like the sound of that. No. Ah, right. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, this is tense for some reason. I don't know why, but I thought, like, the water would be electrified, so I just wanted to get out of it, so... Hence why I'm standing on the railing. And then you come at me with this really calming music again? What the fuck? And where are the textures? Maybe that's...
part of the game. Maybe that's not a mistake. I don't know anymore. This, this is too weird. Can we have a look at this? Uh, I guess not. Wasn't this where I was before? When I when I drowned? Or when I swam to a skyscraper? Yeah. Uh, well, it looked similar to this anyway. Ah, commission. I guess we're going this way. Okay. Uh, is that Hero again? Might be. No, it's not actually. Uh, I know how important your job is for you, but I insist that you should spend some time with your family too. I don't even remember the last time we fished together. There's no excuses about distance, since you can see me through the window of the next building. Come to my apartment someday. I still have the key to our father's boat. Take care, Hero. And please, think about it. Naomi Nagashi, my sister. Okay. Am I Hero? I don't know. I thought everyone else was dead. Maybe they are. Maybe that's why I haven't gone across. I don't see anyone. This is so very, very strange, this game. And I guess those boxes are just too fragile to move. Alright. Um, I guess maybe one of the doors unlocked. Oh. Thank you for playing. No, not now. Oh, hang on. And so my journey begins. I still don't remember how I got to this place. The only thing I know is that the name Nagashi sounds familiar to me. I need to know if I'm the only one alive in this world. And yet, am I alive at all? My only clue is to go to Naomi's apartment and find more answers. And that's it. Thank you for playing. That's the end of the prologue for Lone Water. That was surreal. Dreamlike. Odd. Strange. And everything I said throughout the entire video. That was just maybe a little bit too weird for me, really. Um, the game has made me ask so many questions and given me so few answers. Yeah, maybe this game is a bit too weird for me. Maybe I'm I'm looking for something a little bit more sort of straight, you know? Uh, I, I guess I'm kind of interested and the horror kind of worked. It, it put me on edge. I don't think that was really the intention, but... It... Yeah, it, the game has piqued my interest. If that was its job, it's done it well. Uh, if Chapter 1 does come out, I think I'll have to play it, really, just to, to sort of give myself closure as to what the hell I was doing in the prologue. Uh, yeah, so I'll definitely play that one if it comes out. I might not record it. I guess that really depends on what you guys think of it, but yeah, uh, a very, very surreal experience as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you back in another video very soon. See you then. Let's just try swimming. Or drowning, I guess. This will only cause an ecological apocalypse. <laughs> I assume we're not taking that literally, because if we are, and this new guy could sabotage the machines and cause an ecological apocalypse, I think I'd do more than just leave a message with management. I'd at least leave two. You know, maybe get off my ass and actually go find the buggers. I think I've been repeating the same bit again and again. I have! <sighs> what the fuck? I guess I'll never be able to open any of these without... <laughs> Or not. I don't think that was the way you meant to do it, but fuck it. Why not? It was efficient. A huge one. Pirouetting on the water.